A black New York City doctor and his wife were having a dinner party in their backyard when the neighbors showed up to demand that they stop having a good time and eventually took a garden hose to them and their guests. Now, the party, uh, which was there to celebrate a birthday, hosted by Haitian-American doctor Eve Duraso and his wife, featured about 15 guests. All of them happened to be black or Latino. And I'm guessing it just happened to be a bit too ethnic for these white neighbors. First, an unidentified white woman showed up with a large menacing German shepherd and demanded that the music playing in the, background, uh, in the backyard be turned down. He politely informed her that they were celebrating a birthday, that it would be over soon, and asked for her to politely leave his property. That wasn't good enough. According to a civil lawsuit filed by the good doctor, the, when the party did not end immediately, a man identified as Marcus Rosebrock grabbed his backyard hose and started spraying at them from over the fence. The suit described the scene as reminiscent of 1960s Birmingham, Alabama, when white law enforcement officers used fire hoses to douse, assault, and batter African Americans participating in civil rights demonstrations in an attempt to get them to comply and disperse. Now, in this case, this wasn't a civil rights demonstration. This was, this was a birthday party. So, nonetheless, I, I, these people apparently don't want black people to have fun and celebrate anything in their yard, their own yard. Now the complaint states that Rose brought, turned the hose on the guests again and again, up until they were drenched and thoroughly humiliated. The Duros hose suit claims that among other things that Rose brought violated their civil rights under the title, uh, title eight of the New York administrative code, alleging that he interfered with the right to enjoy the ownership of real property within the city of New York County of Queens. The couple have not held a backyard event since the incident and have essentially become, in lawyer Mina Q. Malik's words, prisoners in their own home, the Daily Beast report stated. Eve and uh, Claude Duraso, along with 15 guests, the caterer and the sous chef are now demanding, yes, sous chef, are demanding Rosebrock basically pay undetermined monetary damages for the mental anguish and emotional distress. They say he and the woman ha had the dog. Uh, who was identified in the complaint as Jean Doe, caused them. Malik said, I was appalled and disgusted that water hosing and German shepherds were being used against people of color in New York City in 2022. I was in utter disbelief. Malik was also, by the way, at that party. So she was one of the guests. Now, Rose Brock is a German national who has not yet filed a response to the Durosos complaint. So we don't have his side of the story. Maybe that'll come out. On Sunday, his attorney, Brandon Gillard, told the Daily Beast that his client's story will come out in court. Mr. Rosebrock denies any of the allegations in the complaint and rejects any characterization that he is racist or that his actions were racially motivated. Uh, I mean, did you or did you not take a hose to party goers that were your neighbors, that were in their own yard? Look, can, can you can you understand why people would think that this is racist? I mean, hosing black people down over a noise complaint. I, I mean, and, and and by the way, it wasn't it wasn't like a gentle spritzing, okay? No, according to the complaint, the water pressure was extremely powerful and stinging in nature. Even after getting soaked, uh, Eve still tried to reason with Rosebrook to no avail. Rather than backing off, Rosebrook doubled down. According to the complaint. It says, he looked directly at the three men, turned his water hose on them with increased water pressure, and violently water sprayed them in the face and body, drenching them and putting them in fear of serious bodily harm, as they were afraid that they would be knocked to the ground from out of a treehouse that they had taken refuge in. Rosebach then also had trained his hose back in the rest of the group, soaking them again, the complaint goes on. One guest tried in vain to speak calmly with Rosebach to see if she could convince him to stop, but instead he turned his water hose on her at high intensity and viciously hosed her with water from head to toe. He concluded by then hosing down the caterer's assistant as she was clearing the dinner plates. So again, the party was over, right? Party over. It, it's done with. That now we're just doing clean up. Oh, and you're still out there spraying. 
come on. Now, the one thing that stands out here in reading the story is how it's a rich neighborhood. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious. This is a, a you know, doctor, he, he was televised as getting the first COVID-19 vaccine. So he's got this, you know, house. He's got, he's got a, a house in New York City with a yard. These are not poor people, okay? He's got catering, not cheap, not cheap. Very, apparently very nice neighborhood with crabby neighbors. I, that, that makes the allegations of racism have a lot more weight to it. This has a, what are you people doing in my neighborhood kind of vibe to it. There's more, there's gotta be more of a story here between these two so far, and maybe we'll get more details as this goes on, but this is, uh, again, a lawsuit here. But whatever the motivation for this, it, it still feels like, it still feels like racism. By the way, there was a, a police report, by the way. Uh, cops were called by the Durosos, but, and after two NYPD officers com came out and heard their complaints, it was just not followed up on. One of the parts of this uh, was them saying, Hey, we would really like the NYPD. This is the Duro so saying, please, we would like the NYPD to investigate this. It, they didn't do their job. Which again, lends more credence to them because again, it, it's the Duro so's, the people who were victimized, you know, in this story saying, can we have some justice here? We called the cops and they did absolutely nothing. We would like them for, the, for them to investigate and do something. So... More, more weight in their, uh, on their complaints. Now, the thing that also helps them, in my opinion, is were there any other complaints from any other people in the block? Not as far as I know. That's pretty striking because had they been noisy and disruptive, which, by the way, doesn't excuse taking a water hose to them, okay, but had they been noisy, they would have gotten complaints against them, the Durso's. But there were no complaints against them. But there was a complaint against the neighbor who was shooting the, the you know, water hose, the garden hose, at the Durasos. I don't know. Sounds like racism to me. But I guess we'll have to see more details as they come out.